Hi there, welcome to the show. I want to begin by a quote I found. It says, second chances are not given to make things right, but are given to prove that we could be better even after we fall. And today's amazingly beautiful guest proves this very well. I can't wait for you to meet her and hear her powerful story. Do stay tuned. This is Unscripted. Let's begin right now. Filming here at Radisson Blue in Aboreta. Welcome to Unscripted. Like I mentioned before, our guest today is not only stunning, um, she wears so many hats and she's here with us. Maureen Waititu. Thank you for Thank having me. Thank you for me. coming <laughs> onto the show. Thank you. You wear lawyer hat, businesswoman, yep. TV presenter, mm -hmm. content creator, mm -hmm. and of course, mother of two lovely boys. Yes. That's a lot. It's a lot. Thank you so much for coming to Unscripted. Thank you for Beautiful having me, Grace. as always. Oh, thank you. Just lovely. Thank I'm sure you get that a lot. Yes, I People appreciate it. People just stare at you. <laughs> it's like so strange though. Door. It's so strange though. It's strange? Yeah. Really? I, I, but in a very wonderful way. And I only have one answer. Uh -huh. It's God's grace. Amen. Yeah. High five. Yeah. It's not our work. It's God's grace. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Um, and who is, when we see Maureen online, yeah. um, we see your fashion sense, mm -hmm. um, your Nuggets of wisdom that you share, yeah. you and the boys. But yeah. who is Maureen? Tell me a bit about Maureen. Where did you grow up? I I loved books. Oh, really? I've always been a bookworm. Good so <laughs> so being a lawyer came naturally because I was very good. good. Uh, but I was also a very quiet child. Yeah. Most because Most times people who love books are yeah. the ones in the corner reading yeah. the book. But also because of my voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people used to make fun of my squeaky oh. voice then, yeah? So, so you used to shy yes, away from talking? Yes, completely, completely. Yeah, but I grew up in different homes, you know, because my mom was working a lot. Right. And obviously they were not together with my father. So one time I'm at my auntie's house. Mm -hmm. The next time I'm at my grandmother's house. Mm -hmm. Or like that. Uh, to a point where now when I went to high school, right. uh, you know, being a boarding, boarding school. So this structure. And then I went to yet another high school, okay. which I feel formed me. Really? I, yes, the woman I am today. Which one is this? Because of the values. Uh, it's called Excel Girls, okay. Tengela. Okay. So I was a pioneer uh, class, top student yes. of that year. Right. Yes, yeah, so it gave me an opportunity to be more bold, vocal. And yourself. Yeah, so yeah, I finished high school, this around 2007. Yeah. And then I joined uh, KU okay. after three years. Right. <laughs> uh, between high school and uh, joining KU, mm -hmm. I, I did so much. I, I you have to get busy as we I'm wait telling for you, right? yes. Yeah. And I've never known a life that I've not been busy. In fact, I started working since I was around 16. Oh, yeah, you. so I'd go volunteer, make my pocket money. Yes. And then I did everything, you know, ICDL, driving, yes. two Computer. languages, everything, <laughs> everything, you know. And then I was working on top of that wow. as a PA, by the way, to oh. a, a car dealer. So I was very responsible and, you know, I was even driving a little car he had given me. Yeah. <laughs> and boom, uni. Then, then in also, uni. But before you continue, yes, um, yes. you said you moved around a lot yes, as a child. Yes. Um, did that affect you in any way in uh, terms of adjusting? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, and I wouldn't even lie. I felt at some point like my mom mm. didn't want me. It's like I was a burden. At the same time, my father had long rejected me. Mm. So it was always like, why can't I? grew up in a normal family with yeah, mom, mom and dad, and, dad. Yeah. and one day i told my mom i'm not a football you can't keep passing me around how old are you i, I was around 11. Mm -hmm. and yeah being a typical african mom she, she was that? like i'm no longer your mother go look for a new mom why are you oh, yeah. talking to like that <laughs> you but it was uh, no 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 but of course uh you know after two years i yeah. joined um high school so okay yeah but with time you've worked in a relationship absolutely yeah. absolutely it's not been easy mm. but uh, i look at the bigger picture and okay. you know there are people who are actually orphans there are people who've grown up in very abusive you know yeah. situations and mine to be honest when i looked at the brighter side I, I had an opportunity i had a bed to sleep on That's and, food to eat. and food to eat yeah and school and school so Which you, I excelled in. You excelled in? Yeah. And did law. So yes. do you, did you practice it at any point? Do you want to practice law? Well, um, I joined the law firm okay. as a pupil. Okay. 
okay. and past that well so done. i stayed for about a year and a half oh. it was amazing yeah <laughs> especially criminal law oh, that's your, that's your favorite <laughs> yeah that's my favorite uh -huh. but uh, a lot happened okay. in between so i had a newborn I my first one okay. and uh, my health was failing because when you're working in a law firm as a junior a mm. little person then they Intense. really yes they overwork you. yes they yeah. overwork you and my literally my body was just shutting down and it took a reality check my doctor was like are you getting paid enough to pay me mm -hmm. and do you know if you drop dead right now mm -hmm. they will forget about you within a week and i was like wow yeah. true then I have talents, I have very many talents. Okay. So I was like, hmm, I think I can find other ways to make money for now. I see. As I recover from, you know, this fatigue and whatever was going on with my body then. Okay. And I can take care of my son. So what did you get into? In fact, how did Marine <sighs> break into the limelight? <laughs> First of all, yeah. I used to make hair. Oh, you did? Yes, yes, with my I own remember. hands, yes. And at that point, yeah. I remember I used to be in the farm uh -huh. with hair. Uh, under and my desk <laughs> and I'll just get orders oh and I will God. yes and I will and just time you're working on files yes exactly cases. yeah so I get a rider to come to reception takes orders and I make my money yes yeah, so I focused more on that okay. and my business grew Good. at that point okay. but I still had uh, this desire to like create content yes. but yeah. then I was well with my ex okay. partner and so he was a bit good at this and he was like why don't we create a family you know mm -hmm. channel, channel and all that mm -hmm. and i think that's when people started noticing mm, okay this couple and all that however yeah. on my own as a content creator yeah. there's one thing that i feel makes me stand out mm -hmm. uh, or rather the thing that i follow my principles mm -hmm. and that is uh, to be purposeful and to inspire Fantastic. so everything I do and I think you've noticed there's always a message yes. for it and I realized like so many people are drawn to that energy mm. and I've been keeping it going and I can only hope to get even to have a bigger audience Indeed. and to get bigger I mean look at you you're now on TV yeah, yeah. look at that yeah. your audience has already grown. absolutely but I have to ask um, yes you've been very open yes. you just mentioned now about your mm. journey yeah. as a woman yeah whether it's um through relationships, mm -hmm. um, being a mother, yeah. and you're being a businesswoman. Yes. Why did you choose the path to share your journey yeah. and intimate details with yeah. the world? Well, um, intimate, <laughs> not so much because it gets deeper. It gets deeper. It gets deeper. Okay. However, I feel like this world we live in, people are only showing the beautiful side, right. the flawless side. People are not the talking. Showroom, the perfect side of things. Exactly. Yeah. And I feel like social media and what is shown has yeah. become a catalyst for depression. That's true. Because a young lady will be looking at me mm. and they don't know that perhaps the clothes I'm wearing, I'm given, mm. maybe. Mm. Or I, I'm in debt yeah. because I have to keep up a lifestyle. Imagine. Why not show people the real thing, like yeah. real struggles? And with that, it has become a thing of women have... Uh, really related with my story and I can't stop it because you know let's share let's inspire let's show them that even on this other side mm. things are real how's the feedback been amazing What's been the most amazing either yeah. most memorable that you've gotten from goodness me um Chris every single day yeah every single day I have to get two three messages saying Maureen because of you Wow. You, I've, I've been courageous to either walk away from a bad relationship, mm. or to seek help because of depression, or you simply inspire me and yeah. may God bless you. And every time I'm like, wow, at least okay. I'm touching a life or two. Okay. And also I have a lot of women coming with the same stories. Yeah. Maybe they're stuck in a situation that they don't know how to get out of mm. and all that. Again, every single day I have to get such messages and it's sad because I didn't realize mm. that women are actually suffering we are we in are fact, suffering that's, that's what the essence of this show yes. unscripted yeah just breaking the culture of silence because mm -hmm. so many of us go through things but exactly because we keep them to ourselves yes. or we discuss you know in yes um, small spaces you have no idea who you could be impacted absolutely just by sharing your story absolutely is a problem shared is a problem half solved absolutely you never know who yes. you're reaching out to yes 
But I have to ask, mm -hmm. there's a tough balance mm. um, between giving of yourself yes. and giving too much. Absolutely. How do you protect your space as Maureen? As yeah, your that's friends? a good question. That's yeah. a good question. Like I remember when I shared about my dad, yeah. uh, the first video I did yeah. and the last post I did, Trust me, Chris, I was there tossing and turning and thinking, should I, this should is I not? so, yeah the, yeah, the need to share was so strong. Okay. You so were convicted strong, exactly. Yeah. And again, hearing from these women, and the irony is they come from all parts of the world, not oh, just wow. here in Kenya or Nairobi, yes. Okay. And I was like, I think I'm not alone in this because I have a really higher form of healing that I'm undergoing okay. and it's making me see things for what they are and I'm like am I the only one because mm. I've seen a lot of adults behave the way they do or mm. they are the way they do because of the childhood mm -hmm. traumas mm -hmm. and I was like can I ask this question have you guys dealt with the childhood traumas yeah. because sometimes it takes a person to tell you yeah. you haven't confronted your past hence you make certain decisions mm. and, and maybe you don't even know yeah. exactly yeah. the cycle never stops until yeah. and unless you fix that in a way a uh, worst case scenario yeah. you will even bring it on to your future generations Imagine. right your yeah. kids your kids kids because you, you didn't deal with it mm -hmm. but the fact that i'm aware now i'm enlightened yeah. i'm an elite woman in the society that honestly grace i'm learning so much yeah. right why not just keep throwing that light to the world and it just takes that so is it too much for me no i have already made peace with it like before i, I share a message even if my father right now saw it yeah. i'll be like uh -huh, that's the truth if my mom, even my mom, I tell her, why did you keep pushing me to yeah. this man? Yeah. yeah, but that's in the past. Okay. How about the feeling that comes with just dealing with it okay. and letting go? It's so liberating. So before we go on a break, yes. tell me about um, your relationship with your father. Um, um, you mm -hmm. mentioned he, he wasn't yeah. there. He yeah. was an absent yeah. father. Yeah. And your mom would encourage. Or Absolutely, she would really, yeah, yeah. What did that do to you? Her, Oof. Or how would that happen? To be honest, Chris, mm -hmm. it changed so many things. I even do right now. What do you mean? Like how? Um, I'll tell you one mm -hmm. one great thing yeah. I do. I've never had to be reliant on a person. I have mm -hmm. great fear of that's why you work so lack hard. of independence. Yes, Depending I'd rather <laughs> I'd rather work twenty four hours a day. Yeah. Because every time I'd go and to his office and I'd tell him I need school fees, mm. he would straight up turn me down. Okay. There's a day he left me to walk home <laughs> from his office yeah. here in Nairobi yeah. all the way to Kiambu. Yes, to my mom's house. What? And yes, you came all the way to see him? I came to see him. Oh. And he kind of, you know, got lost. Yeah. And I, I was traumatized and I went Imagine. home that night. I was 16, then I was 16. And I was like, how, like, Imagine. what kind of cruelty is this? And I told God, always cover me with grace. Mm -hmm. And I live that up to now. Always provide for me. Yeah. You're the only father I know. Yeah. And since then, I like I, I'm you telling there. you, he's your dad. Yeah, and he's that's it. That, and that's a message and I was passing right okay. on Father's Day last year. I see. I was like, guys, let it go. Yeah. You can't live, you know, trying to make someone get yeah. into your life. Sometimes it's parents who are even toxic. Imagine. Let them go. It's that simple. Oh wow. Yeah. Let's take a short break. I'd like to continue this conversation. Um, so stay tuned right here on Unscripted. Welcome back to Unscripted and special thanks to Radisson Blue for hosting us. We have an entree before us with delicious meal. Isn't it good? Oof. <laughs> really enjoyed myself. It is. It is. These yeah. guys are the best. Oh. Um, before the break, yes. um, we talked about um, the journey um, with your father growing up and that cycle of rejection. Yeah. If I may ask, if mm -hmm. it's okay, mm -hmm. did that affect your relationships when it came to dating men and being with, you know, yeah. Yeah. How did that um, affect you? Absolutely. I think what it did, it made me build walls. 
Yes. Makes sense. I to was, protect yourself. Exactly. I was, but I was protecting myself not to be hurt at the end, mm. not even letting someone in. Yeah. And I'd be very picky, very, very picky. But then the few times I dated, mm. I realized I was attracting men with the same qualities. Yeah, I was about to yes. ask you, did you end yes. up falling for the same kind of man? Oh, trust me, I did. Mm. Yes, every time. And uh, it's taken even this journey of, you know, just being on my own to realize mm. the pattern I took. And it makes perfect sense. It does. Yeah. So speaking of mm -hmm. relationship and your last relationship, yes. that sort of publicly, um, mm -hmm. the breakup was known online. Yes. Um, I guess you can start from the beginning. How did, you, where did you meet Frankie? Um, how did you guys come to be together? And then what went wrong, if you can share? Hmm. Um, we met through a mutual friend who was my friend before and his client. I see. Yeah, and um, uh, you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. Boy meets girl. Boy meets girl, they get girl together. <laughs> <laughs> Got a baby. Yeah. I think I was pregnant within the first year of dating, so I really didn't even get to know him too well. What about him made you think this could be it? Um, it's always a difficult question because I look back and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't know anymore. It doesn't make sense I don't now. Know. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah. But in a way, I attracted him to my life. Mm. He was what I needed at that that's point it. in my life. And that's the importance of breaking your cycles and dealing with whatever is going on within you. Mm. Because, yeah, whatever is within is what goes on on the outside. That's true. But, of course, he, he was a very nice guy, charming. Um, he did the most with the dinners and all that. Mm. And then we became parents and... Of course, things are different. You know, challenges are there. Yeah. We were both so new to parenthood. Mm -hmm. And Parenting one thing... changes a lot. Exactly. Yeah. And here I am trying to build my career in law. He's also uh, building his career. Mm -hmm. And yeah, problems started coming in slowly by slowly. But I felt like <coughs> instead of um, getting better... Yeah. Uh, it only got worse until whatever happened happened eventually. I see. Yeah. So you got to a point where you enough was enough. Enough was enough. But I have to ask this. Yes. Um, and it could be the society to think about. Mm. There is family. family. There is religion. Yeah. And sometimes walking away is yeah. easier said than done. Yes. What gave you as Maureen the strength yeah. and conviction to say, I need to do this? I'm, I'm a prayerful woman. Good. I trust me, I negotiated with God. Oh, and yeah? I was like, God, if you do this, I need this and all that. Okay. And I even gave him an ultimatum. Oh, did you? <laughs> yes. When did you tell him? <laughs> I gave him a timeline and uh, I, told him, I told him, God, if by this time yeah. you won't hit me with a big neon sign or a train <laughs> to tell me Stay. what direction to go, yeah. God, I, I don't know what I'll do. Yes. And he's so gracious. Yeah. I, I everything happened. To be honest, you know when they say women leave or rather leave a situation in bits. Mm. First yeah. suitcase at the slowly. door. We fight we do. until the very end. Yeah. And I fought grace. It starts mentally. Yes. Your heart. Yes. Like you said, you're packing small yes. things. Yes. I contemplated. I, I moved back and forth. Mm. I, 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 I did everything I could. And Eventually, I figured it's not about me anymore. Yeah. It's about my kids. It's about my future. And the thing is, it's true. Religion, family, society. Like, I was, it was a very public relationship. There was that as exactly. well. Exactly. Yeah. And suddenly, it's, nothing is happening. And I think that's why most women are stuck, because they're, they're always worrying. Mm, what will I say? What How will I explain exactly. this? What will become of me? Yes. Yeah. You have to love yourself more than anyone else could because you're the only person after God. Indeed. Mm. Um, how are your kids now? 
How they're doing the transition. They're thriving. Yeah, <laughs> they're thriving. Mm -hmm. My oldest had a bit of trouble. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he couldn't express it. He's only four. Mm -hmm. He's a boy. Boys don't really have words. Mm -hmm. But I really paid attention to his body language, the few words he threw at me, to a point whereby I decided to like really even be more present and okay. kinder to him. Okay. And now he's thriving. He's opening up. Oh, he's opening he's up. He tells me when he's sad, he tells me specifically, Mommy, you're making me sad. Okay. Because I've changed his cartoon <laughs> and he wants to watch something else. I and see. I love it. Yeah? Yeah. What gives, what gives you, like you said, it's not an easy transition for anyone to go through. Um, what gave you the strength and grace to do it? If each day to continue yes. doing it, yes. being a present mom. Yeah making things happen yeah. and taking care of yourself. My son is a real angel, my oldest son. So is my youngest, but this one, God used him mm. in every way. Like, for, I mean, how does a four-year-old come to you? In fact, he was three and a few, we were well, almost four, and, and I'm like, okay, Maureen, just snap out of it, mm. do what you need to do, and go, so I can see my children mm. motivate me. Every day, this that boy saved my life mm. more than one time. I can attest to that. Children just I come know. in, yes, change your perspective exactly, feel the space that yeah. Yeah. no one can explain. Yeah. And my youngest is, lives life to the fullest. Oh. He loves, <laughs> he cries in equal measure. Oh, yes. he will throw his tantrum to the fullest. <laughs> I love how he lives. He eats his meals and Fantastic. he holds him like this, and it's like. It's a teddy bear, <laughs> and he's like my little, you know, heart warmer, mm. honestly. And the two of them, when I open that door and I hear, Mommy, oh, it melts my heart. And I have no choice but to keep pushing. Mm -hmm. And also my support system has been really, really good. Oh, good. I, I have friends who are like sisters to me, and they stepped in 100%. Good. Like, where I couldn't be okay. Yeah. They come take my kids and they're like sleep. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Good. I have That's amazing what you friends. Need sometimes. Exactly. What was your darkest moment through it all? <sighs> wow, um, Grace, I'll be very honest. I almost took my life twice. Yes, so and each time it was like God was like, <laughs> "What do you think you're doing?" Mm. There's a day he just intervened, like it was, I was going to drive off somewhere and it started raining and it poured and it poured and I just drove back, mm -hmm. went sat and cried my ass out in the parking lot mm -hmm. and it did not stop raining, Grace. It was on a Sunday, I'll never forget. And at that point, I, I, when I, you know, after like letting it all out mm. this some calmness that comes over you and stuffy nose and <laughs> sleepy head oh, and i was like where, where am i even going so i went back to the house yeah. and i found my son waiting for me lexi lexi and he told me mommy get me my disney junior book okay and i got it for him and he told me sit down I'm going to read for your story wow. and i was like okay and i i wasn't myself mm. i looked at myself later in the mirror i was like I looked great, yeah. but my son was just saying, Mommy, and he, he sat, he told me once upon a time, there was a prince, a princess, and a bear, and a wolf, the end. And so I laughed, and I was like, what happened to the princess? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and I smiled, and I was like, you're so stupid. What did that moment do for you? Honestly, it just made me want to leave and fight. Yeah. I went, I had just started my medication. I'm very open about, you okay. know, I've been, so you saw I'm cancer. getting treated yeah, for severe depression okay. and uh, post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, anxiety. Okay. So I went to my room, I had a very nice house help and she was, she was always staying and making sure everything is running. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I took my tablet, mm -hmm. I slept and woke up a new woman. And that's the last time I thought, things um, let me tell you grace if when you're thinking it can only get worse mm. it gets better it gets you better. hit that bottom the only way is up mm -hmm. unless you want to dig a hole 
<laughs> underneath. And maybe you might find diamonds. And you never know. <laughs> yes. I'd like you to talk about it, like as you brought up, that yeah. you open to seeking help yeah. and being treated for it. Because yes. um, people you yeah. know, shy away yeah. or fear or yeah. they don't know where to start Absolutely. when it comes to seeking help in that way. Yeah. So if you could share to someone at home who maybe more in where they are now, oh. they're feeling stuck. Yeah. They don't know where yeah. to go, where yeah. to start. Yeah. They don't want the embarrassment or the shame. Absolutely. And they're fearing. And it's very, very valid reasons. It is. What would you tell that woman now? And what are the benefits of seeking help? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not even just women. Our men are True. dropping yeah. dead every day. Yeah. Why? Because there's this mentality. Mm. Uh, what is depression? Why are you stressed? You're just sad. You're this. Mm. Know yourself. There's so many facilities all over the country that would guide you. Whatever the case might be, if you're feeling like you're in a dungeon, you don't want to open the curtains, you don't mm. want to get out of bed, you, you've lost taste in life, mm. just walk in into any facility. Seek help. Because forget about what people will say and what people think about you. Go in there, seek help, and trust me, you'll thank yourself later. Thank you, Maureen. Welcome back to Unscripted. I'm here with this amazing Maureen. Thank you so much for um, inspiring, even just me, sitting right here and hearing your story. Um, thank you for this candor and for being honest and real Yes. authentic yes. Um, it's definitely something we need in our generation just Absolutely. authenticity is so important Absolutely. like Very just be you yeah. and you'll be the best yeah. there's no one else who can be you not at so all. thank not you shame. and there's no shame, there's no shame. There's no shame. Yeah. in fact we said earlier before about we shy away from either walking away from toxic mm -hmm. situations mm -hmm. because society yeah. culture religion yeah. but think about God is God is a God of grace yes and it's not a God of condemning and shame. Never. Um, so if that is one reason, yeah. imagine God will. He'll, he's, it's true. Yeah, he'll it's be there true. with you and walk yeah. with you. Yeah. So I have to ask, how are you doing now, Maureen? Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my daughter told me I'm, I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah, so now, um, of course, there's a lot of self-determination uh, okay. to get better. To be honest, you can see all the doctors in the world that you want to see you can be put on the happiest pill <laughs> or whatever yeah. but if you're not willing to make it happen for you it will it never will it will never work especially with mental illnesses True. they are very tricky they're not your typical antibiotic yes. um the healing yeah. disease or yeah. whatever it, it eats you alive so for you what would you say in this season or that mm -hmm. period yeah. what have been your big takeouts and lessons you could share oh self-love mm. self-love grace yeah. if you love yourself so much yeah. there's a lot you can protect yourself from that's true yeah. all right yeah. um acceptance that you'll have your weak moments yeah. and uh none of us are perfect exactly yeah. and uh third self-forgiveness because mm. we blame ourselves so much and a lot of people who hurt us or who bring some kind of negativity mm. to be honest i've learned it's not us mm. it's their own issues yeah, the that they haven't dealt with mm. and now they have to project them yeah. onto someone and it's always the most innocent the yeah. person the closest opens, person thank you the one who opens up their heart mm. so and and fourth just do not care about what anyone and everyone will say. Grace, if you're going to hustle, hustle. I'm telling you. Because if you don't have you're the food, one who's food, feeding yourself, exactly. paying the rent. Yes. Yeah. If you don't have food at home, um, no one will come to you. You'll be That's like, true. oh, Marino, I now borrows things. Yeah. But yeah. now, I, I mean, if you just do your thing and do it honestly, this Indeed. peace of mind, and no one can ever beat that. Oh, yeah, and finally, uh, especially for mothers, just think about how you're bringing up these kids. Yeah. Don't let your own misgivings and whatever you're going through affect them. Mm. You're just a custodian. We are. God will need them back one day. What will you tell him? Indeed. Did you do simple? your best? Did you not? Exactly. So, 
to the women who follow you, the girls who follow you, mm. all the fans and the followers. Yeah. What would you like them to take out from Maureen when they visit your page? Whoa, um, if you, you know, if they ever come to my page and walk away with something, mm. honestly, that keeps me going because whatever I put out there, like I said, I usually have a very deep thought process about it before sharing so that when I share, and that's why everything comes back as 100% positivity. You will hear people bashing me and telling me, why are you saying that about you? That they're like, I can relate. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah. That makes me so happy because it's a new season, a new decade, and we need to be happier people. Sure. We need to forgive, we need to let go and start a fresh chapter. Times change, and if I'm going to be a person who God has placed in this world mm. to do His work, so be it. So be it. So be it. What are you loving most about this new season you're in? Oof, Grace, the, the whole wax. Yeah. It's like a cocktail of something so beautiful. Because I it's can so see powerful. the glow and the yes. hope and the yes. spark in your eyes. Yes, and this is just the beginning. Okay. I, have, um, I have very many plans. I want to, and I'm praying that. Whatever I'm doing right now, out there in my mm -hmm. social media pages mm -hmm. and as a person, because yeah. Grace, when I meet people and they're like, oh my God, Maureen, what you're doing, mm -hmm. has really pushed me, even even celebrities, you know? Oh, yes. And I'm like, wow, I didn't mm -hmm. even realize. And I projected one day that people in my direct messages yeah. and in my page, all those people who follow me, mm -hmm. it's a ministry. It's a ministry. It's a ministry. Oh, and high yes, well done. it's a ministry full of purpose, full of inspiration, and now teaching. And I feel like I'm, I want to take it to the next level. I am awesome. gifted so much with so much. Even all my circumstances, I've never looked at myself and as lacking. As, as lacking Good. or self pity. Good. Never. Good. Every single season. I have just grown so many lessons, thing. exactly, and I know for a fact, God did not make me go through didn't bring you these this three decades mm -hmm. to for nothing. Yeah. The lessons go deep. I have so much in my heart to share. So what are you saying? And what I are will. Oh, big things. Oh, big things. Big things. You're not telling us it's more. I, I wouldn't even wait and see. It right now, but I know for a fact, with my healing. Yeah. And my the journey I'm going, I'm not going alone. I'm gonna take with me nations. Wow. Yes. And especially women. Especially and men me. too, because I'm a mom of boys yeah. and I, I I can't be a father to them. Yeah. But I wanna be not just a mom, but a woman they look up to and say, Wow, our mom did it. Wow, you're so in sync. You've sort yeah. of like Yeah. I was gonna ask you two things, which you've sort of brought yeah. up already. Yeah. Um you're not a father to them, you're their mother. Yeah. So I was going to ask, yeah. them, it's, I'm glad that you're aware you're mm. the mother and yeah. the role you play as a mom. Yeah. But there's still boys yeah. and they require exactly. a male figure. Exactly. So are you sort of putting that in place? Absolutely. And then what legacy would you like to leave for your boys? Right. So first of all, yeah. um, boy, child, yes. as it is, jokes aside, jokes aside, we really need to take care of them. We do. We do, especially our generation yeah. and the younger ones who've come because something happened mm. between our dads yeah. and the 30-year-olds mm. we're dating, the 35-year-olds we're gap, dating. There's a gap. It's something lost. And I would love to encourage men to like really hold hands. I remember I asked some time back, yeah. what is their safe space? I asked mm -hmm. men, what's your safe space? And the responses were amazing, very educative as well. And you find they hold up so much. That's mm -hmm. why there's so many cases of men, you know, slipping into depression, mm -hmm. suicide. suicide, even domestic <laughs> violence, yeah. and much more. We forget that they're still humans. The same way a baby cries, you wouldn't know whether it's a baby girl or a baby boy. But the society has put up this, you know, it has to be like this. So I want to bring up my kids to know that it is okay to be who and how you want to be. Express yourself. Seek help where you can. And also the lessons I've learned in life, you know, forgiveness and all that. I want to teach them that. And of course, I pray that this is where any generational curse is broken mm -hmm. in my life 
and that of my kids. Mm -hmm. And when I'm gone, because well, of course I'll go one day, yeah. I want them to remember and tell people that's that's our mom. That's my mom. And she left a legacy and she healed many people with her story. Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's talk about second chances as we wrap. Yeah. Um, when women go through stuff, or people, we mm. imagine, mm -hmm. oh, that can never happen for yeah, me again. True. Or I won't even try that again. Yeah. Do you still dream to have the ideal <laughs> princess, everything that we dream about? Yeah. Family set up. Yeah. And I'd like you to speak on second chances. Yes. Yeah. Chris, um, being a mother shouldn't invalidate our dreams. Mm. Being speak. a single mother, yeah. we don't have to be labeled. We don't. Being a mom who brings up the kids alone doesn't mean that whoever you were before those kids is no longer there. Mm. That's why I always have my mantra, moms are girls too. That's true. And my desires are still the same. That's true. Yes, indeed. I want to walk down the aisle one day, oh, yes. get married to a wonderful king. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now be his queen. No. Then we can get some princess. <laughs> So more kids would yes. be nice as well. Perhaps, oh, perhaps. Yes. But the dream is still valid. But I will be lying if I told you yeah. I am very traumatized right now. Those are two things. So I've put it somewhere. Okay. But I'm working towards towards, towards my healing to break this gap. Mm -hmm. Fill it with positivity and good things. Because sure. right now the only thing I'm focusing on is getting okay, myself better. better breaking all these things. I'm digging everything from my childhood. What can, how can I become a better woman? Mm -hmm. If God has other plans, sure, mm -hmm. I can be whatever he wants me to be. Okay. It's that simple. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being so honest with us, Maureen. We appreciate that. We wish you all the very best. Thank you. All the joy and happiness and more glow in this 2020 oh, for yes. you. Thank you, Grace, yeah. for having me. Thank you for well, unscripted. I was a bit nervous. But really? Yes. <laughs> I didn't show it at but all. It's, it's amazing. Thank you it's, so much. It's you amazing. know that you do this. In fact, you should do yes. the outro for us. Right. You should look in the camera, tell guys goodbye. Thank you for watching. Yes. Can you do that for us? <laughs> yeah. Go right ahead. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching unscripted with Grace. Actually, maybe I should interview Grace you on this. Oh, should you? I should, right? Maybe next mm -hmm. time I should come and, you know, interview her and it can be unscripted mm -hmm. with Maureen. But today it was unscripted with Grace and Maureen. Yes. Well, keep watching next time. Tune in at the same time. Bye-bye. You, you did good. You did great. <laughs> good night and God bless. Thanks for watching. <laughs>